We learned this morning that when God looked down from heaven at all of our sin and all of our brokenness, He didn't get mad. He didn't get angry. Instead, He did the strangest thing. He said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send my son Jesus to die on a cross for their sin. And if they simply believe that he is my son who has come to die on a cross for their problem called sin, I'm going to take away all of their sin and all of their brokenness. I'm going to take away the thing that separates me from them. And that's why every week we celebrate something called communion. You see, before Jesus was crucified, he had a meal with 12 of his closest friends called disciples. And during that meal, he took a piece of bread and broke it. He said, this represents my body, which will be broken for you. Then after dinner, he took a cup of wine and said, I want you to drink this. This represents my blood, which will be poured out for the forgiveness of sins. He said, whenever you eat this bread and drink this juice, you're saying that I died for your sin. And that's one of the most amazing parts about communion. If you're somebody who's made a lot of mistakes in your life or somebody who just feels really far from God, you need to know that Jesus didn't give us communion to remind us of all the mistakes we've made. He gave us communion as a weekly reminder that he died on the cross for our sins. So if you're somebody who believes Jesus was God's son, we welcome you to take communion. If you're somebody who's new to church, you can take it too. But if you're somebody who's new to church, new to Christianity, or isn't sure about the whole God thing, no pressure. If you don't want to take communion, no big deal. Just pass it to the person next to you. Let's celebrate communion together this morning.